What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be reacting to the trailer for Joker 2. I am so, 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 so excited for this. If you guys don't know, the first Joker is my favorite movie of all time. It's, there's a lot of reasons for it. It's really what got me into movies the way I am now. I wasn't that, that into movies before that came out. For some reason, it just, I don't know, changed my mind on certain things about how I interact with film, how I, how I view them. And it honestly led me to making this channel because the whole purpose of this channel was wanting to, you know, go outside of what I usually watch and just start watching a bunch of movies out there all throughout history. And so now they got a sequel coming out. A sequel I didn't think had to happen, but I also really wanted it to because I knew there was more story for them to tell. And obviously the inclusion of Harley Quinn is really interesting. When they said it was a musical, it kind of worried me a little bit, but I'm so curious to see how that's going to work because I do think there is a way to make the musical elements work well in the film. So let's just watch this trailer. It's titled Joker Fala Edu. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just throwing it out there. So that pronunciation is probably terrible, but we'll call it Joker 2 from now on until I get the pronunciation down. But uh, let's check this out. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, he's in Arkham. I'm assuming he's going to... He's got a, he got a joke for me. <clears throat> there she is. Yeah, so she's in Arkham Asylum too. We use music to make us whole. We use to music to make us whole. Fractures within ourselves. So that person's probably talking to Harley Quinn. I'm nobody. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Like <laughs> <you> have. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this looks so amazing. <laughs> what is this? It looks amazing. Yeah, I'm telling you, these are all visual sequences between them. That's it's it. It's probably all like visions in her mind or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, this looks fantastic. I, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. What is that? Dude, what is going on? <laughs> oh what? He's not alone anymore. <laughs> what? I want to see the real you. Oh, for the smile. Oh man, I'm all for it. I'm sorry. Like, I don't give a shit, man. <laughs> I, I can see what they're going for. All right, let's take a deeper look into this. I'm not going to break it down too much, but we're going to just look at certain aspects of it that I, I think are worthy of, of discussing. Um, so first of all, my theories about the these musical sequences being all visions, I don't honestly think it's going to be just that. I think part of it will be that, but I do think it's going to turn to something a lot grander than that, but we'll see. Um, Obviously, they're going to get out of Arkham at some point. I just don't know how they're going to get out of Arkham. Is it going to be something? I, like, they're not going to... I honestly, I don't know. Like, I'm just... This, this trailer doesn't even really reveal that much, which is fantastic. I'm happy it doesn't. It just showcases, first of all, how amazing it looks. I mean, visually speaking, this is a, just as good as the first one. I feel like there's so many amazing shots. Um, but I like this. So he first sees Harley in this class. She's singing... Guarantee her character is probably going to be an aspiring singer of some sort. I think that would make a lot of sense. And this is probably before oh, it has to be before she um she actually gets into Arkham. Now, one thing a lot of people were talking about is like, well, how different are these characters going to be to um, the comic versions? Like, obviously, Joker is very different than the comic Joker in the first movie. So I'm assuming Harley is also going to be very different than comic Harley. I'm not expecting comic Harley, really. I think these are very different interpretations of these characters, which is probably why I like it so much. It's just very different and unique. And that's probably why the first movie worked so well for me. 
And I mean, this, this, like, again, it's just showcasing, they find an interest in each other and that's going to really change him, obviously, because he wanted that so much. He wanted to not feel alone. That was his whole thing in the first movies, how alone he felt. And then we have, so this is like, I'm not sure. It makes it seem like they're watching their own performance on stage. Obviously, you know, realistically, it doesn't make any sense, but it could be just them thinking about how it could be for them on stage. Like this, I feel like is a vision. I don't feel like this is real, but then again, I could be wrong. This out on the streets, that, that's probably real though. I'm sure that's after they escaped. Um, but this, this looks like some sort of hallucination vision. I have no idea. And then here, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, he has two different Jokers chasing after him. I'm assuming those are just people dressed as the Joker too, but I'm not sure why they're chasing after him. I, I don't know. But obviously this is after he escaped. Now we have this here. This could definitely be, like I said, another vision, but it'll also be real. I just don't know how though. Like how is he, how are they going to get to a position after escaping Arkham where they have the power to do this? Like, they, wow, wouldn't they just be arrested? Like, I don't know. That's why I'm not sure. Having all these people backing them up to and dancing along. I, I do think these are all visions. I don't think that's real. Then again, we'll have to wait and see for the movie. Okay, this can give us some information here. So Harley is just walking up these stairs. And what do these signs say? Free Joker. So people want, yeah, a lot of people were on Joker's side at the end of that movie. So I guess that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people on the side. So maybe, oh, maybe they could honestly do like a Gotham takeover of some sort. Like this could literally just be like Gotham is on lockdown and like there's so many people rioting that they're able to get into this place and do this. And I think this is the same place where they had the Murray show, right? It looks the same, but I could, I could, maybe it's not. I don't know. This just looks, man, this looks like something else. And she's putting on his makeup. Dude, I love, I love that. This looks like a vision here. This doesn't look real because this looks like it, it's it's outside the same. It's look, it's over here. It's um, hold on. It's this same place right here, but the background is blacked out, which you would that, then it has to be a bit like I said, I think my theories are right there. They have to be a lot of these are probably just them just fucking around in, in their head and just thinking about like how cool it would be just to just to you know, freely sing and dance. Like they talk about the power of music, right? Like, I don't know. Like this too, like these don't feel real. What the hell is he doing here? Oh, he's hitting a fucking stool on someone? Hotel Arkham? Yeah, see this, this is definitely like a, a stage there. Yeah, okay. Oh man, dude, this is going to be so cool. Oh, is this when they're escaping Arkham? It's on fire. I don't know if this is Arkham or not, but it probably is. And she's got a gun pulled on. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? Dude, I'm sorry. This looks so good. I don't. I don't care what nobody says, man. This looks fantastic. Hopefully, you guys are curious to see what this is going to be like as well. Like I said, it, of course, I was going to be excited for this. It's my favorite movie, so I'm going to be excited for this too. And I, I think this looks fantastic. I think everything looks great. I'm going to be there day one, October 4th. I believe the first one also re released in early October. So that'll be really exciting. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I will see you guys all in my next one. Peace out.